After receiving his call, she rushes to where he was and finds him sitting on the side of the road. While drunk, he tells her that he is not her little friend. They get in a taxi, and he keeps telling her that he likes her. They get home, and while putting him to bed, she accidentally falls on him. She tells him he's drunk, and she's going to get water. He holds her back and tells her this little friend is sober, but has a hangover. She goes to get water and finds papers scattered on the floor and picks them up. She tells him that she remembers he wanted to be an artist. While talking, she sees her painting on one of the papers. After she sees the painting, he gets up and takes the papers from her. She tells him she is leaving since he is okay. He remembers how he fought with another student because of the painting and how she treated his wound and asked him why he fought other students. In the morning, she finds him at work at the photocopy machine. He corners her and tells her he is sorry for making her uncomfortable and gives her the paintings from yesterday. He tells her he needs time to see her as a friend and he will contact her again. At the office, a female colleague invites him for karaoke, and he says yes. She also invites the teacher. At first she refuses, but later says she will, if her timetable allows. While leaving, they pass by each other without saying a word. At the karaoke, the female colleague asks her if she knew Joe before, and she says yes. The colleague tells her that Joe is her type, and she is ready to resign for him. After he arrives, the female colleague leaves to sit close to him. The teacher feels uncomfortable looking at them. The female colleague puts her hand on him. Unable to bear it, she leaves. He follows her, and the colleague follows them. While walking, she is thinking to herself why she is sad and starts crying. He catches up to her and hugs her from behind, and tells her if she feels uncomfortable between him and the colleague, then she likes him. He continues to ask her why she is crying. She says she doesn't know. He tells her to admit that she likes him. She tells him no. He kisses her. The colleague catches up to them and calls his name. They hide and continue kissing so deeply that they couldn't stop. In the morning, her computer couldn't start. He offers to help. She asks him if he could fix it, and he asks her if her cherry lipstick is flavored and kisses her again. They are disrupted by the colleague who asks her why her lipstick is like that and why she didn't fix it after eating. She tells her she is going to do so. At the meeting, they sit close together. He asks her what perfume she used today. She blushes. Their boss tells her since she is single, she should go for dinner with Chairman Lee, which she agrees to. He tells her not to go and holds her hand during the meeting. He later waits for her at the printing station and asks her why she agreed to go for dinner with the chairman. She tells him it's her job. She goes for dinner with multiple clients. He tells her he doesn't want her to go and kisses her. While kissing, the colleague comes to pick up the printed paper, almost catching them in the act. They explain that the printer jammed. Her boss calls her and tells her that her performance is not as good as it used to be. She further reminds her how hard she worked to get Chairman Lee. She calls him and asks him not to do all those things at the office. He jokes with her, asking her why she declined Chairman Lee's dinner invitation. Was it because of him? She tells him to be serious. He invites her to a movie. She declines, telling him she will be with a client. She further asks him what he thinks their final outcome will be. If it is marriage, how is she going to face his parents, given that she was his teacher? In the evening, while she is drunk, he sees her holding hands with another man. He waits for her to get a taxi and escorts her home while holding her in his arms. At home, she vomits a lot and tells him that the sales job is like that. If she doesn't drink with clients, she will not get a form. He tells her he understands. He is not a child. He tells her he is going to get water, and in the process, he burns his hand. She goes to check on him and asks him why he is careless. He holds her hand and hugs her from behind, drawing himself closer and kissing her deeply. She tells him why is he tempting her when he knows she has feelings for him. She insists that she doesn't have time to grow him up and send him to another woman, and it's dangerous to be with him. He goes to the bar and complains to the bartender why she wouldn't trust him. 
She tells him that the older the woman, the easier it is to get insecure when dating a younger man. He tells her that her word is final to him, and he loves her deeply. At the office, she doesn't see him and asks her colleague, who tells her that he was sick and took a day off. She wanted to message him, but remembered she set the boundaries. He later gets there despite the day off. They pass each other without greetings for days, until a day a colleague asked if he was unhappy, as he no longer greets Yi, and he tells her he didn't see Yi at that time. Her mother visits her and tells her to get a man she can rely on. She replies that she is okay for now and is doing well with her job. While cleaning, she sees the picture he drew for her and goes out to look for him. She apologizes and decides to accept him. He runs towards her and kisses her deeply.